If I was a first year at Hogwarts, I'd hopefully be in Gryffindor. I'd want it to be Gryffindor because most of the people in there are like brave and courageous and they always try to do the right thing. That sounds really sad. <laughs> Gryffindor would be good. I think I'd be. <laughs> I, like, ev I feel like everyone would like to say Gryffindor, but I don't know how truly <laughs> brave I am. Mm. Definitely not Slytherin. <laughs> uh, Hufflepuff. I might join the Hufflepuff crowd. <laughs> Slytherin, yeah, I'll be Slytherin. I think I would. So I have a, an evil side to me. I mean, I look good in green. The Harry Potter series is essentially like my childhood. I started reading the books in like second grade and I just fell in love with them. My mom would read it to me uh, when I was younger. When I was in middle school, actually my dad bought me the first uh, Harry Potter book. My dad bought me the books when I was in elementary school. And it was one of the one of our books that we were able to read for a summer reading and I just picked it up from there and I couldn't put it down. My teacher started reading to us in the third grade, but I never really got into the books. <laughs> really? No. <laughs> <laughs> I've like seen all the movies and stuff though. I did see the new movie and I was very, very disappointed. Uh, I thought it was incredibly anticlimactic. The movie was great. Everybody in the theater was clapping at all different points, yelling, screaming. My jaw was dropped and I'm like holding on to my friends like, oh my god, oh my god, could you see that? But it was pretty cool though. I'm planning on seeing it, but we're gonna wait until the hype dies down. Yeah, exactly. We went to the midnight. Yeah, Carol and Gemini. I went to the Northeastern had tickets through. I think it was through RSA, so that was exciting. And I really liked it. I, I like. I absolutely loved it. I probably will see it again. I didn't want it to be over. <laughs> I don't know. I felt like it. It shouldn't be done yet. <laughs> she should just write some more. It really was an end of an era, and the end of my childhood. Everyone text, talks about how this is their childhood, and when the movie um, finished, everything was like, oh, my childhood is now over. I cried. I was like, it's done, it's no more, there's no more books, there's nothing to read, nothing to look forward to. It was sad. Yeah. <laughs> Just because it's been such a journey for our generation. I don't think it's going to be the same for any other generation. But it was kind of like an end to our childhood, and they were all grown up, and we're grown up. <laughs> People will still always like Harry Potter, I think, for a long time.